Here in Taranto, the name Mussolini opens up old wounds. This is where the dictator's great-grandson chose to run as candidate for the European elections. But before he meets his supporters, this is what we see. A local group of anti-fascists showing him he's not welcome. In 2019, I cannot accept this propaganda again. These are fascists who spread hatred. When Caio Mussolini arrives, he asks his guests to ignore what has been happening. His reply is streamed live on Facebook. Sadly, the left still lives in the past and it has nothing to propose. They are far from the needs of the people. Around 50 people came to listen to him in this seafront restaurant. Some have known him for years, others came to meet him for the first time. I am nostalgic and for me it's an honor to be here and listen to him. The surname Mussolini is one like many others. It doesn't scare me. Caio Mussolini says he wants to be judged on his CV rather than his name. He doesn't consider himself a fascist, but recognizes that people still like the Mussolini brand. I need to get known in a very short time and I need a lot of preferences. The only way is uh, to uh, uh, let people know me, uh, maybe taking advantage of my surname. Caio Mussolini's political challenge begins here in the south of Italy. But what does a Mussolini comeback mean for the country today? Bringing back memories of fascism, a dark chapter in Italian history. And what do Italians think about it? This year, on the 25th of April, a larger number of Italians than usual took to the streets to celebrate Liberation Day, the end of the Nazi occupation of Italy during World War II. They blame Salvini and explain why the name Mussolini is a big deal for the country. I think it's unbelievable. We cannot let these far-right politicians in the government. Federico Argentieri, professor of political science at John Cabot University, explains why Italy's relation with fascism is one of a kind. Because of uh, a certain legacy of nostalgia for fascism. Fascism was not too bad, after all, uh, Mussolini did a, a few good things. Uh, all these legends uh, are still floating around. Whatever the political result will be, 70% of Italians don't feel like turning back the clock according to a recent poll. Giorgio Orlandi, Euronews, Taranto.